Stereotypically, men are supposed to know more about cars than women. In 1974, Doe and Emswiller asked a group of male and female participants to evaluate the performance of a man or a woman conducting either a masculine or feminine task. The masculine task was identifying a tyre jack used for changing the wheel on a car. The feminine task was identifying a mop, which even I know is used for cleaning the floor. So participants had to decide whether a person's performance on these tasks was due to ability or luck. What did they find? On this chart, you can see that the y-axis shows us whether participants thought the person's performance was due to luck or ability. Higher numbers mean it's more due to ability. The x-axis shows the two tasks, the masculine task and the feminine task. The men performing the task are indicated by the blue and the women by the green. Doe and Emswiller found that when a man performed well on a masculine task, participants were more likely to attribute their performance to skill. However, when a woman performed just as well as a man on the same task, participants were more likely to attribute the woman's performance to luck. When it came to evaluating a man and a woman conducting a feminine task, participants attributed a woman's successful performance to skill, but they attributed a man's successful performance to skill as well. This was not the case for a woman performing well in a masculine task. The participants saw the same behaviour, both genders knowing about cars, but one is seen as to be supporting the stereotype while the other is just dismissed. Here's an explanation for why stereotypes exist or why they remain. In the video that we linked to just before this video, did you hear where they mention that overeducation in women leads to ugliness, premature ageing and beard growth? We laugh at that because it just sounds ridiculous, but that was a real theory about 100 years ago as women were trying to get access to education. A lot of men thought it wasn't good for a woman to be educated. They thought that women would become like men. They would become haggard, ugly and masculine looking. A lot of people who believed this were educated people. And look, if education really did make you more masculine looking, I might even sign up to do another PhD. So why would apparently smart people believe something so stupid? The answer would be because it's convenient for them, because they want to believe that. They might feel threatened by women knocking on the doors of education and power with all the freedom that implies. This is what is called a legitimising myth. It legitimises the status quo. The video of the song Bad Girls by MIA was made by a political director and even though it doesn't explicitly reference it, it's commenting on the fact that women are not permitted to drive vehicles in Saudi Arabia. It was reported in 2013 a top Saudi cleric commented that driving damages females' reproductive organs. The story attracted a lot of international pressure and this obviously ridiculous fact was used to legitimise the status quo. Likewise, if I'm a male CEO of a company and I'm wandering around thinking, wow, there's not that many women who are also CEOs, why is that? I have to make sense of that. And one of the ways to explain that is because I'm a guy in this patriarchal world and I've benefited from privilege. Now, not many people like to think they've benefited from privilege, so we don't like to explain things in this way. Another explanation could be that there's not many female CEOs because they're not that interested, they're not that ambitious, they're not boardroom material, and they fall apart under pressure, and they're too emotional. People might be motivated to believe these inaccurate things to help them rationalise the status quo in a non-threatening way.